Hi, I'm Lisa from ESC Extra, and today we're looking at the Festival of Cannes Shower 2021 entries. And today I'll be reacting to Graziella's song, A Vida Sam, a concert. And that's more than enough of me butchering Portuguese for one day. So let's get started, shall we? Thank you, Graziella. Yes, I did pronounce that wrong. But breaking news, people, we have, I mean, I'm stretching the imagination, but yes, we have what I will class as a banger from Portugal. Although thanks to my partner deciding to make a mashup of this with Depeche Mode, just can't get enough. I can't get that out of my head now. Thank you so much, dear. <laughs> But I'm so here for these 80s guitar beats and a mix of electronica. It's actually reminding me a lot of um, that Lithuanian national final song from years back, War in the Wardrobe. There's a really good blend of the vocals and the production that don't swamp out the other here. Yes, there's um, bird notes are very on brand here. Hello, you see my name? <laughs> Oh, I really like this church's section. There's so many layers and development happening here. I do like a bit of power electron. Very on trend by Portuguese standards. Finally, they've embraced the 21st century music spectrum. Vamos, indeed. So that was Graziella's song, A Vida Sama Concert, and I really enjoyed that. Portugal has delivered. There's a nice diverse spectrum of songs they've got going on, and wow, they've even discovered modern music. I'm, <laughs> I'm blown away. I mean, you know, it's still the 1980s, but they're getting there, they're getting there. And I hope this does well, because it stands out so much compared to a lot of the other songs. It's very unusual and quirky and fun by Portuguese standards. And I appreciate it for that. And I hope there's going to be some like really off the wall, trippy 80s staging going on here. It's, it's on trend, but also done very much in Portugal's way, as they always do, just sticking to the traditional language, of course. And I really enjoy these off the wall, offbeat electric songs, and I can't wait to see how this develops throughout the semis. And I really hope it can make the final. It deserves to, just the way it's so different to anything else there. And I'm really looking forward to it. But that was just my thoughts. Let's see what the rest of the team had to say about it. I honestly think this is a really cool entry. Um, although it's a bit more modern, than you usually expect from Portugal. It's a bit more experimental, but I do like that. I have to admit, after the first like minute and a half, I was kind of, you know, I was like, I get it, you know, it's the song, and it kind of felt repetitive at that point. Still, though, like, it's not a bad entry at all, and I could see it doing quite well. Okay, I did not expect that Festival da Canção would have this type of song. I like the 60s, 70s, 80s inspo on the track with a bit of electronica on there. Like, I'm liking the fact that they're venturing onto other genres. And I'm really curious to see how they're going to perform this on stage just because of the nature of the song itself. But you know what? I'd have it on my playlist. Vita Sem Aconteça is a really surprising song to have in this lineup. It has a very dreamlike quality to it. It's very um, bubbly and fizzy and almost 60s pop esque. It has a nice summer vibe to it, which I think I'm sure we can all really appreciate right now. And it has a lot of potential, I think, to really be impactful live. I'm quite excited to see the song come alive in a live setting because I don't think the, the studio version will do it justice. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of our videos at ESC Extra, don't forget to like and subscribe and push the notification bell to stay up to date with all our content. And don't forget to follow us at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all the socials. We're on them. And 
kept up to date with all the latest news and music on Spotify as well in the run up to Rotterdam. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.